Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I have been getting so many really good video requests from you guys recently and I had, I've had two recently that I read and I was like, actually they're really good ideas. The second one, which I got about a week ago, is from CN Medical Tips. And you have said, hey Sophie, please can you do a video talking about your personal grooming, rituals and routines? Everything from how often you get things done to what it is that you get done, hair, nails, grooming, skincare, etc. Thank you for the question as well, it's a good one. I've decided I'm gonna break this down into hair, skin, and other. So starting with hair, I get my hair done every three weeks, and I know that sounds very extravagant, but if I may explain. I don't get it cut every three weeks, I get it cut every six to eight weeks but every three weeks I go in and I have the hairdresser put a gloss a clear gloss color on the ends of my hair if you've got dark hair that you've had some like lighter bits put through and your hair looks split endy or just dry or anything get your hairdresser to put a gloss through the ends and it makes your hair so silky smooth and shiny the other thing that I get done every three weeks is I have got a cow's lick it, it looks actually greatly improved because I had some microblading done here but I have a cow's look and it means that this bit of hair sticks up really badly. The hairdresser that I go to has come up with this ingenious thing that he does. He uses keratin which is I think it's also known as Brazilian blow dry what they use to like make your hair dead straight and flat. He paints a tiny bit on the kinked up bit and then he pulls it all forward and dries it forward so that it like sets flat. Now moving on to skin. This is my favorite topic. I think that I have got my skincare routine to an absolute T. And I don't mean that in a big headed way, honestly. I think that my skin is better now than it was five years ago. Or it's better now than it was 10 years ago. First of all, Botox. That stuff works and I feel like there is some hostility towards it but Botox is it's not a filler it is something that if you stop having it done it goes away and it just paralyzes the muscles so that and like for example I get it in my forehead and I also get it around here and I get if when you smile you get like a little line there I hit 30 and I just noticed that those lines when I smiled were starting to create an actual dent and the reason why I did something about it is because whenever I did my makeup my makeup used to go into the dent that was the fine line under my eye I have the tiniest bit of Botox put in there and there it just stops it but I can still move my face it just means that any of the fine lines aren't there and I get that done every three months without fail. I've also had laser done on my skin which was one of the best things I ever did. I had it done at the beginning of the year. It is non-ablative fractional laser. I had three sessions. Depends on your skin type and texture as to how many you need but I had three and you have it done once every month. They numb your face and then they go over it with a laser and the laser resurfaces the skin and they recommend that you have it redone once a year. The areas of my skin that I saw the biggest difference and this is really what I, what I wanted to achieve was I had in large pores here, like tiny, like you know when you're smiling you get like crepiness around here, just like tiny, like tiny, like fine lines almost there. They were the things that I wanted to get rid of and I also had an acne scar here that had left like an actual dent into my skin. That's gone. This is pretty much gone. I've still got the pores, obviously, because I'm a human being, but they're like way reduced. Microblading, I had microblading for the first time in May. I wanted my eyebrows doing, and you see so many horror stories or eyebrows that you see and you're like, I don't want my eyebrows to look like that. But I found a lady who love her work. She's called Natasha. I've included her in videos before and she microbladed my brows. She also microbladed around my hairline. So because for me, my hairline has always gone back a bit further here and here where I've got this cow's lick, I just wanted to even it up a bit. So she just went in there and microbladed it. The next thing that I do, and I mentioned this in a couple of videos ago, I bleached my face. I had so many of you going, what do you do? Why do you do that? What is it for? What do you use? I use simple Jolem bleach. I've been using this for over 10 years. The reason why I use this is because just like anyone else, I guess, I get tiny little baby hairs around my face, but they're ever so slightly darker. And 
I've tried so many things. Like I, the only thing I haven't tried is laser hair removal. And I haven't bothered doing it because I've got a couple of friends who've had it done and they say it doesn't work. Or if it does work, it's very minimal. Plus as well, because I've been doing this for so long, it almost isn't an issue for me anymore. Whereas getting laser on in large pores was more of an issue because I do my makeup in the day and by midday, my pores, like, because I have combination skin, it, the oil that would create from the skin, I could see it and it was an issue to me. And I was always blotting and my pores looked big and I just wanted to do something about it. I do a face mask every single night without fail. The only time I don't do it is if I get in really, really late like after midnight and I'm so tired that it's an effort just to wash off my makeup, let alone put on a mask. But I do one every night otherwise. And if I don't do it, I really see the difference. There are different face masks that I use at different points in the month. If you go back on my videos, I did a skincare video. When did I do it? 20, 2012, maybe even 2013. I don't know, it's on there though. And the things I use then, I still use now and they work. Microdermabrasion I started doing just before that video I was mentioning in 2013 or whenever it was. I use the number seven product from Boots. It is 11 pounds, it works. I use one of those abrasive mitt gloves that you can get. I put a pea sized amount of this on my face when I've washed my face but my face is dry and I just gently rub in tiny circles. What microdermabrasion effectively does is it really gently removes the top layer of skin, so any sort of dead skin cells. It helps your skin to constantly turn over and renew. I don't do this every single night because it is quite intense, but I do it twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes in the winter. Do you ever come home and you go to wash your face and as you're washing it, it just feels rough or in, in patches. I typically get rough dry patches here and on the end of my nose and I get them around my chin. When I'm washing my face, I know when I feel those that I need to use this. Straight after doing that, I will use one of the following. I thought that I would take you through the four face masks that I've been using for as long as I can remember and they're very good. And I'll tell you when I use them and why. The first one is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This is a thick abrasive gel mask that you put on and remove after 10 minutes. It has got a microdermabrasion product in it as well as an AHA, which feels like a glycolic on the skin. After I've used this, I remove it and then I follow up with an eye cream and normally a retinol night treatment, which I'll come on to in a second. The product that I use most days, this mask, this is a gel. It is a rose stem cell mask and it really, you can actually feel a, a tangible plumping effect when you use it. It is very hydrating and I leave this on and I sleep in it overnight. You really notice it in the morning, your skin looks more youthful. On days when I have got a hangover, or I've got hormonal skin, or just winter skin, I use this. This is from Dermalogica. It is a very thick, very hydrating product. It literally works in eight hours. You can see it the next day. It is like giving your skin a Barocca, which is basically a vitamin tablet in the UK that you drink. I don't know if you get that elsewhere, but it is like giving your skin vitamins that it's lacking. Then the other products that I use on days where my skin's actually doing okay, but I just want something that it can chill out in overnight. I use these sleep masks from Sephora. They're very inexpensive and they're great when you're traveling. I can typically get two wears out of one pot. My favorite one is the pearl mask. It's really good for brightening and hydration. I'm now going to really quickly cover night creams as well as day products before moving on to tooth whitening and other things. Starting with a night cream, I have been using this product since 2012. It's the Strevectin AR Overnight Retinol Treatment. This I will sleep in if I've used the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Mask. Otherwise, I sleep in the other masks that I've mentioned here. This product is really good if you have got enlarged pores. Over the course of the last five years, I have visibly seen a difference with this product. So if you've got enlarged pores or fine lines, I definitely recommend you get it. It's not the cheapest, but it does actually work. For day products, if the only thing you get is this face serum, I can highly recommend it. You mix it with a bit of your day cream, it works excellently for combination skin. And I also use this eye cream from Guerlain, which is perfect if you get dry under eyes. I'm gonna talk about teeth in a second, which is quite exciting. But before I do that, this is a silk turban. I wear this every single night. I got this in Cult Beauty. I try and wash my hair every third day, 
but sometimes I'd wash it and literally the next day I felt like it needed washing again because maybe my face cream had got stuck in it or just lying on a pillow all night would all be sort of like all over the place and sometimes I felt like I was washing it every day just because after sleeping on it it would look so disheveled. This claims to improve split ends because it's silk and because your hair is lying flat on it allegedly. It also helps to increase the amount of time between washes because apparently what this does when you're lying on your pillow the oil that your scalp produces just like goes wherever whereas apparently something to do with silk means that the oil instead of sitting directly on the scalp it moves down the shaft of the hair apparently i don't i don't know if it actually does that but i can tell you that it does mean you wake up in the morning and your hair is not like a bird's nest but also yeah it does somehow mean that you're not washing your hair so frequently so do recommend that the final thing that i do and i've wanted to talk about this for a while actually but i didn't know how to talk about it i whiten my teeth i do this once a week sometimes more but once a week because that's what's convenient those little whitening kits you get on like i don't want to say anything bad here okay but just from my experience the whitening kits that you get online where you have the uv light that goes in your mouth i've tried them and they don't work they don't work for many reasons mainly because if you get the product on your gums it absolutely burns to high hell and in fact once i used one and the gum like if you leave the peroxide or whatever it is on the gum the gum goes white and i was freaking out because i thought it was bone and i didn't realize that it just bleached my gum and it really hurt i've got to be honest with you but also you just don't get the whole tooth you only end up getting this bit here you don't get like right round to the sides the cheapest and most effective thing to do go to your dentist and get some clear plastic retainers made 30 pounds for top and bottom these cost me then what i got also 30 pounds is a set of three of these whitening syringes which are the professional philips zoom whitening you can get day white or night white i use day white there's a difference night white has got a lower percentage of peroxide in it because you're going to be wearing it for like eight hours or whatever and obviously if it's stronger you're going to have like no teeth left at the end of it Day white is designed for you wearing it up to half an hour and so it's a stronger concentration. You don't need a UV light with this and the trays mean that if you put the product right in the trays where the dentists tell you, you don't get your gums at all. So your gums are protected, you haven't got to hold like a light in your mouth but also you can get right round to your molars if you want to go that far round. You're not limited to that front bit wherever the UV light can reach. When I've come home from work I love to get in the bathroom put on some music, have a bath and do these treatments. It's like, it's what I enjoy most in the day. It's so much fun. Get a glass of wine, do your face mask, whiten your teeth or whatever. And I, I really enjoy it. So I get these TP things. You can get them in different sizes. And I find that these are easier than using the straight floss. And I do this at the end of every day. I normally do this before I put in the tooth whitening as well so that my teeth are like really clean beforehand. Before I go, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing white jeans for the first time in many years and I can't work out whether I like them or not. I like the cut, it's just when you see yourself in white jeans, you're like, oh my God, thunder thighs. This jumper, I got this jumper in two colors. I have it in green and I also have it in black. It's semi, sorry for the side camera by the way. It's semi cold shoulder because on the other side it doesn't actually have it. Quite like the frills on it as well. I'm wearing it with this Gucci belt. These amazing shoes that I was sent by Denise, who is a subscriber in the US. And Denise, I absolutely love these shoes. They're so comfortable. I got on two bracelets today. One of them is from Hermes and the other from Swarovski. The Swarovski bracelet, I tried to buy another one of these the other day and I can't find them. On the website anymore i don't know whether they're discontinued but i found um i found a reseller selling them on amazon so i'm going to link to those below and then the watch that i'm wearing is from jord this is i think this is called the field crest i wanted something really pale to wear today with silver hardware so that's why i decided to wear that i'm actually going to link here to that original skincare video that i'm talking about don't judge i was didn't know what I was doing on YouTube at the time. I'm also gonna link to this video here about microblading. So if you're curious, come and join me and you can see what it's like and did it hurt. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.